What's going on, guys? Welcome to our first rendition of The Late Night Show. As you all know, my name is Nacho, and I'll be your host for this amazing new series sponsored by the DPA. Tonight, we start off with a very special guest and a dear friend of mine from way back in the day, Dusty underscore three. Some of you will remember him, and some of you might not have ever even met him. But let's all give him a round of applause and give him a warm welcome. Hello, Nacho. Thanks for having me. Hello, Dusty. It's great to... Uh, Great to, great to, great to have you back, man. You know, I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you. Oh, it's been months, yeah. It's been months. It's been ages, ages, been ages. Oh my lord! Well, that's the so. As you know, I mean, everyone knows me because, like, I'm me. But you know, I, I feel like the the peeps of democracy craft just don't know who you are. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I'm Dusty. And uh, I joined DC back in 2020, March of 2020, and that was during the development phase of DC. Um, so I'm pretty old. Old, yes. yes well, it's, very almost old. Like you're, it's almost like you're a boomer, Dusty. Do you think that you're would classified be as a boomer? Oh, it's an accurate statement. Yeah, yeah, that's a very accurate statement. Yes, yes, yes. Boomer, boomer. Boomerism. Man. Boomerang. Boomerang Dusty. Boomerang Dusty. Yes, yes. Um, and during my time on DC, uh, I created a political party called the NAP. Um, and I was a part of the first Congress, which also had the SPP in it. Uh, and then eventually Cricks entered the game, shakes things up a bit. The SPP became irrelevant in politics, and it was just the NAP and DRP, so me versus Cricks. And then eventually I went on a short vacation, came back, and then during that time, Cricks got president with a bit of help from me. I got you. And then, then I ended up going on vacation for about 16 months. 16 and now I'm months. back today. Man, yes. this man went all the way around the world in 16 months. 16 yeah. months it's on a cruise. quite a journey. It's quite a, a journey. journey. Journey to the end of the earth, mate. To the end of the earth. Yeah. So, Dusty. So, you briefly, you briefly just said that you went on a 16th month, you know, vacation. Now, I know... Yeah as well as, you know, some other people within the community that it wasn't necessarily just a vacation, that you were just temporarily banned from the server. I think we can all agree yes. on that, right? Yep. So would you be able to tell, like, the viewers, you know, why why do you, why do you have to leave? All right. So I made some mistakes during my early times on DC. I was quite almost immature. During the end of my time, just before I went on the vacation, just before I was banned, I began inciting drama, so I was encouraging people to rise up against the staff team, which was a silly thing to do, and I also was extremely toxic towards many members of the community. Yeah, it, it, was just, it wasn't a very good time for me. I got you, I got you. So, so, you know, while you were gone, did you do anything fun? You know, because everyone, people take breaks from the server all the time. You know, like, shoot, I took a small vacation from the server for a little bit, but I came back, you know, we were max and relaxing while on vacation. Did you do anything fun while you were gone? Um, I visited other, other nations. I went to Sefton, which I got you. Was, I got you. You guys would probably know. Um, I went to Stratham. <laughs> no, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, went right. to, I went to, I went to Stratham. Uh, where I took over the government with the help of some of my friends. Um, and then I went to, what's it called now? Andalon. And now I'm back here. What's it called? What a great terminology for that. Perfect yes. terminology. Yes. So I visited a lot of different cultures, met a lot of different people. And uh, yeah, now I'm back and I'm happy to be back. Honestly, fantastic, Dusty. Well, hey, so, you know, we all know that you were a part of uh, what 
the the public of democracy craft referred to as the great unbanning of 2022 all right yep now wh- what do you what do you think of this like unprecedented unforeseen never done before act by the server administration known as the great unbanning of 2022 give us your thoughts come on well i think overall it was a it was a really good idea um it brought back a very old community that has kind of it's, it's kind of left a hole in DC, us being gone. Um, it's definitely left things 100% more boring. Um, we, we, were, we were very exciting back then, and that was partly what led to our band because we were so out there. Um, but now we're all back, and I think it was a really good idea because it's going to spark some some excitement in the community is going to spark some, some entertainment as well. Uh, we're going to have a very fun server like you. it was back in the day. So I know that, uh, obviously when you left, like this was, you know, 16 months, like 16 yes. months of time, you know, it's a long time. It's a, it is a very long time. So I could only imagine for you, First off, like you left when, you know, in your prime of like the the legal field, you know, you were you knew all the laws, you helped write the foundations of this democracy. Yeah. But now coming back, I know you you were jump starting and kickstarting your your legal firm again. You were getting involved in the courts. And, you know, I know you were kind of leaning towards that, but that must be a very big change. And things that you you once knew right off the back of your hand. I think the other day, me and you were talking about. Uh, um, oh, what was the what was the law we were referencing? It was a simple. Uh, would it be the campaign espionage law? It was the campaign espionage. I'm pretty sure you helped write the original version, and then they have amended it, and now it's like, oh my lord, you know, yeah, it's, it's I, a new new dragon now. Yeah, it's definitely a, a lot to adjust to. The, uh, the the laws have definitely changed. We've had a lot of different ideas go through those 16 months, a lot of big change. The RBA is completely different to how I remember it because I used to be a council member on it. It's okay. Um, we, can, we can still rest assured that the public opinion of the RBA is still that it doesn't work. I'm pretty <laughs> sure back when you were on, it was still the same thing, but we still have it today and we all appreciate <laughs> it for what it does. Um, so I guess that leads us into, you know, what is, what is truly like next for you? You know, you just got a clean slate. You just came back to the community. What, what, what do you plan on doing now? Like, what's the next big adventure for you? Oh, next big adventure. Well, it's probably... Well, I've started Prodigium with Matthew again, which is a law firm that some of the older people might remember. Um, It was a very successful law firm back in the days. It, in my opinion, revolutionized the legal field and got what we have today, which is a very very entertaining, very uh, popular courtroom. We have nine, what, what, seven or nine judges? Something like that. I've lost track. I think we're right under seven right now. I think think we're we're pretty much on the same track. Yeah, back in my day, we only had two or three. So it's completely changed. And yeah, I'm looking to also get involved in politics once again, but I'm being careful with... uh, how I'm viewed. I don't want to rush into things. Um, I've only just been unbanned, so I'm going to take my time. But I'm looking to I'm looking to run into in the next Congress election. Um, hoping to get in the House, maybe change a few laws. I got you. And now. I, I guess I kind of want to like put a pin right there, but like I just want to make sure that we're on the same page. Is this the same prodigium? that was previously known for the constitutional uh, crisis as it caused way back. Like, I mean, probably we're looking a little bit over almost like a year and a half ago where they hey. sued and literally locked up the government. Yeah, this is the same prodigium. We, we were extremely powerful with the way we would sue. We would, we, we could lock up the, the um, government very easily because 
constitution had a lot of loopholes back in the day, and we we uh, we wanted to bring those to to light. We wanted to show that there were holes in the constitution, and the government wasn't necessarily following what they should be following. And we brought them to light, and that made us a very popular law firm. Um, All right, certainly a very right. rich. Hey, I know me within my legal experience, as well as my legal position within, you know the uh i guess legal side of the the community um i look forward to uh hearing arguments as well as uh seeing the prodigium duo back at it within the courtroom um so i'm excited you know it's many great things to come for it um but that leads us right into um the next big thing you know we left off or you left off previously with the server um hamilton Hamilton was your bread and butter. It was the thing that you came into the server as you helped build up, you helped literally lay out the foundations of this democracy on, but you go on vacation, you come back. There's a whole new giant right in front of you. The giant yeah. of Ravel. Yeah. So give, give me, give me some insights on, you know, wh what do you think as you walk the streets, the streets that you once knew as Hamilton, where you could, you know, tell me exactly where, Dusty's gun store was, but now it's like you spawn in. And what 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 are your thoughts? Oh, well, Ravel is a it's a very first of all interesting name to Hamilton. I struggled to pronounce it when I was coming when I came back. Um, I was calling it ravioli, so that's the first first impression of it. Um, ravioli is pretty good though. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Chef Boyardee. <laughs> um, so overall, the city, it's, it's got a nice feel to it. It's, it's, a, it's got very nice buildings around. It's definitely feeling way more um, professional than it did before, way more thought out. Uh, and I really like the map. The map is, is really nice. Um, it's, it's, it reminds me of GTA. It's, it's a great map. And it's got great buildings. It's also got a good metro. Now, that's I something you. that I, I had to adjust to quite a lot because I remember there only being trams right. a year or so ago. There were, there were only trams and there was no buses. There was no, there was no trains. We had trams. Or well, we did have an airport there. Right. It so was the, the, the you click a sign and everything and poof, off you go. There you go. Yeah. Now we have a nice animation as we... Uh, travel from train station to train station. And I think that's really cool. That's a really nice touch. Um, I've heard from members of the community that the, the train idea of where you like get sucked up into the air and then you like teleport along the line truly like develops the more RP aesthetic of being able to, to physically feel like you're traveling, not just teleporting. You got any yeah, thoughts you, on that? Yeah. As you, as you go through the air, you, you you really feel like you're traveling through the city and you can see this, the different buildings you go past and the different streets. And it really does feel like you're actually transported through the city rather than just teleporting from one end of the city to the other. It's, it's a, it was a great idea. Great idea. Awesome. Um, well, is there any other features and things that you've, you have found within, I know you've only been back for uh, right around like a couple days or not even a couple days. Well, I guess it probably is going. How many days? Yeah, it's like two, uh, two days. Five days. Five, well, five days oh, been geez, it's been five days. Oh, my Lord. Man, time flies. Yeah, time does um, fly. So, you know, been around for five days. You've, you've had some time to walk around. Any other features that you, you like looking at? I know within the DCT, we've, we've been thinking about, you know, incorporating like old Hamilton structures and worn down buildings within Ravel through the uh, uh, Office of Urban Development. I didn't know, you know, in terms of like what, 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 what are you, what are your opinions on that? Um, I would like to see some old builds come back, especially Dusty's Gun Store. That would be fantastic to have that building back in this city. I doubt it would come back because it wasn't up to the modern standards of today and building wise. It was, it was a little, a little ugly, but um, it, it would be nice to have it back, and it would be nice to have other Hamilton builds in the city. Okay, but I do, I do like, I do like what we've got so far, and I do like that I can see some of the skyscrapers from the old city. Um, 
Oh, and another thing is the roads. I'm I'm quite amazed at the roads. They're 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 really they're really fascinated. nice. Fascinated, fascinated yeah. by the roads. Fascinated by the roads. Yes, the you very thing that? I walk. On. You heard it here first, folks. Dusty loves him some roads. Yeah, I do. I do. They're very nice. Nice, um, nice. I greatly appreciated the fact that um, you took the time out of your busy schedule to you know spend some time with us here in the studio. Uh, I look forward to 100% having you back on, um, as well as uh, look forward to just the exciting things that you'll bring. Um, so, yeah, so I, I feel that, that that'll be wrapping us up. Um, you, you got anything to say to our lovely peeps while, you know, before we sign out for the night? Well, um, Dusty's back and prepare to see some interesting stuff. Well, oh, oh, and thanks for having me. Of course, yeah. Thank you, Nachi. You know, yeah. You you best you best accept the fact that I let you on this show. My <laughs> lord. Well, you guys heard it here. Um, like I said before, my name is Nacho. It's been an absolute pleasure uh, to have you guys here with me uh, on the late night. Um, feel free to tune back in with us. Uh, we have many great things in the works. Um, if you want to be aired on the show, feel free to open a DPA ticket. Reach out to us. Let us know. And we'll, we'll get you signed up. All right. Catch you later. Peace. <laughs>